Hey guys, what's up? Um, today I'm going to be reviewing the Mammut Xeron Shake Backpack. It's a 30 liter backpack from Mammut. It was made during the 2008-2012 Mammut era when they improved the quality of their products. Um, so much so it keeps improving. I'm actually replacing this backpack after owning it for 10, over 10 years with the Mammut Xeon um, 35 Cargo Backpack, which is more of a, a bigger, better traveling backpack. But this backpack is awesome for indoor stuff, going to the office, going to school or if you're into outdoor hiking and stuff like that. I'll show you guys what's in this backpack. I have stuff for the office as well as stuff for hiking. Um, get this on the back and show you guys how it looks. So without it being packed, this backpack is really lightweight. It's made with the best quality materials, nylons, ballistic denier nylon as well. Goes on real easy, my watch got stuck in it. Where it's comfortable, you do have sternum straps. Really cool sternum straps here that adjust up and down, regardless of your height. Straps are adjustable, really cool. There's no movement on the backpack. There's also hidden um, waist strips that's hidden in the side there you can pull out. So it gives it a clean look. I'm 5 foot 8 inches tall, 160 pounds, and I have a short torso. My torso is about 17 to 18 inches. So I'm short torso for this backpack, so you see how it looks. Um, I think most people would have like a 19 to 21 inch torso. So that's kind of how it looks on my frame. Uh, and it's really comfortable, really easy to wear. It's fully packed. It's not, um, and it's not a lot of movement, not a lot of vibration, which is cool. The hidden waist straps are actually tucked away in here. And you can pull these out if you need to. I'm not going to pull them out because it's kind of messy and it's hard to put back in there. But it does have hidden waist straps if you want that stability and clipping it to your waist if you have a heavier waist. So I'm going to bring the camera in closer and show you guys how this awesome backpack looks from up close. So you have two side pockets. Um, one, I have a 30 ounce water bottle size. It's a slender size. The side pockets aren't deep and if you have something taller than this it will kind of come out and it's not even with the velcro strap even with the uh, compression straps there it's not too secure I mean if something is unstable it will fall out but if you do have something taller than this you also have upper compression straps up here that could um, compress the item there too uh, on this side you see there's a logo Xenon Xeron shake uh, 30, 30 liters. So it's your average size, um, medium large backpack for daily stuff. So I'm gonna put this down on the ground. Um, on this side we have um, my hiking sticks to show you guys. It does hold hiking sticks. You have uh, upper compression straps that unclip completely. Um, the lower compression straps stay um, in place. They don't come up, come apart. And you can just take your hiking poles out. Front pocket, I call this the pickpocketer's pocket. You can put stuff in, you can put a hat there, a large hat, full size hat, show you guys that. And uh, up here, so don't put any valuables in there. You could put passports and stuff in it, but I don't recommend that. And then up here, we have the zip top pocket for sunglasses. It does have a key chain thing, which is cool. So hold your keys secure. You can put chargers, lip balm, little things in there. What a lot of these packs don't have is daisy chains. And this does have the daisy chains. You can clip a carabiner on there and hang wet items on the outside of the pack. Or if you want, you could even carry your water bottle on the outside of the pack like that. So that's really cool. And it's a row of four daisy chains and four daisy chains on this side. You can also get a bungee cord and do like a zigzag pattern to hold something wet, like a towel, and, and cinch it against the pack, which is cool. So you have a large pocket here, front pocket there. Those are the two external pockets. Let's go inside the pack. So with the compression top straps unclipped, you can zip the side zip, the top zip for the main compartment all the way down and fold this down like that. See inside of the bag is a neon green color so it makes it easy to find what you have inside. I have a couple um, of jackets in there, a Patagonia, Patagonia down sweater as well as a nano puff and a vest. 
to show you guys it holds a lot 30 liters worth of stuff I have some books here and in here you have an iPod iPad pocket for this is an iPad a regular size iPad and it will hold something bigger than that so this could hold like an iPad 12 inch pro or a really large tablet because this is um, like a 10.2 inch tablet so def there's definitely space in there for a massive tablet Put that over there and behind here so you have a rather large pocket that is the only pocket in this um, big main section here and this is where you probably put your clothing items your shoes your boots whatever and up here you could hold up to I have a 15 inch laptop stuck in there which is cool and in here there's no um, you could also put if you don't want to put a laptop in here when you're hiking you could put a hydration pouch in there and it does have a pass-through for a hydration pouch which is cool uh, on the inside of the bag there is some discoloring from age I'm not sure what it is I never spilled anything in there I think it's just from sitting in storage for a long time um, you can't really see it it doesn't affect anything but there is some discoloration in inside of the bag um, there's also some markings on the inside of the bag as well some of that red stuff is up there um, looks like red wine but I didn't spill any wine in that bag the beauty of the laptop pouch is that is when the laptop is in there it doesn't touch the bottom of the bag so it leaves a like a three inch space down there but the laptop sleeve is padded side bottom and the back so it's a fully padded laptop sleeve a lot of the times backpack makers leave the bottom section of the laptop sleeve unpadded so the laptop just slings hangs suspended inside the bag but this it hangs suspended but it's also padded there for extra protection for laptop you don't see it all a lot um, with everything out the bag by itself weighs 52 ounces it's 52 ounces um, heavy it's a fairly light bag when you feel it it's not heavy at all compared to something like the map the North Face Recon um, backpack which is a 30 also a 30 liter backpack this is much lighter than a North Face Recon if you look at compare it to something that's um, that you know and uh, are familiar with compare it to North Face Recon the straps also I don't know if you can see have reflective material right there which is really cool everything's um, brand looks brand new the pattern on this after so many years the pattern is still pretty new condition the back pattern as well all new condition there's no um, fraying to the fabrics the bottom of the bag is also very clean as well this is used after 10 years so this is good quality stuff um, I forgot to mention the upper straps also have compression shoulder straps up here for um, making stabilizing the uh, whatever you're carrying which is cool you don't see that on a lot of modern backpacks these upper compression straps all the um, clips is logo labeled with mammoth so there's like little cute mammoth logos all over the place you have your mammoth logo there you have another mammoth logo on the front section of the backpack and um, mammoth across there and I mentioned before the the name of the backpack the mammoth um, Zeron shake is there you also have this little loop down here for whatever you need to hang there really good backpack the quality of this backpack you don't see it um, made anymore um, and backpacks costing twice as much <laughs> um, they just don't make this like this anymore it's made for modern day stuff considering this was made in two, mid the 2010s around that then it's you could use it for modern day electronic accessories as well as all your hiking um, stuff that you want to carry on a trail um, it's a very good hybrid backpack and what makes this one dynamic is that it's really really lightweight for the um, function and um, space it offers you this also actually this loop I realize it's this little pouch for this loop here really cool so it's a lot of quirks and quirks positive quirks in this backpack the Easter eggs that you'll find after um, months and years after owning this backpack like I didn't know that was there and that's really useful to have um, what I also like about this backpack, it doesn't look like it's a lot of straps hanging around the place. Simply because you could tuck straps away, like the waist straps, you tuck it in there. And that's uh, interesting. Alright guys, thank you for watching.
don't forget to like and subscribe uh, more videos coming um, this is like I said it's for my eBay um, auction page no information in this backpack I had to do this video um, for the sale